bare necessities. Simple bare necessities. Hello. Um, made a video on electroculture um, sometime in the middle of March. I had a lot of people actually you know, question me on how to make a Yagi antenna. Of course, there's millions of resources online, but I had to take into consideration the fact that a lot of people don't know how to solder, or if they do, they don't want to solder. The one thing I actually found uh, rather repulsive is that there's all these intricate, beautiful designs of electroculture online using really, you know, it's like uh, rubber crystal sort of stuff. It's just, it's totally unnecessary. It's elaborate and a lot of it looks store-bought and quite expensive. I got a design since I was asked. It's one single continuous piece. It's made of aluminum. A lot of Yagi antennas are aluminum. Uh, I've built over the decades uh, easily like 150 antennas. I've built a lot of Yagis. This specifically is a loop Yagi antenna. I'll show you how to make it in a second. By the way, you can go to... I'm all about cheap and simple. The first one you make would uh, take you about... Uh, it should take you less than a half an hour. It's one single continuous piece. You can't use steel. Steel, of course, is induced by EMR. You could use copper, but that's not necessary. Um, a lot of people use copper, and there is this unnecessary uh, zeitgeist around electroculture that assumes that you need, and copper's not that expensive, um, unless you build something really elaborate, um, but uh, most antennas are aluminum, especially Yagi antennas. Uh, there's a two-element Yagi antenna. Yagi antennas go up to, uh, I've seen them as big as 18 elements. You only need a two-element Yagi, and you can make it really simply out of a piece of uh, aluminum. You can make it out of copper, but whatever you do, don't make it out of steel. Now, this is a $9 roll of aluminum wire that you could actually get. This is 10 gauge, I believe, at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. You can make like a dozen, depending on the size of the garden, you only need to make about four of these, okay? No soldering involved, just a pair of uh, needle nose pliers. And uh, when I was talking about uh, electroculture, um, you can actually uh, apply it to seeds, structured water, and of course it's just dielectric induction. What it does is it helps an osmotic uptake in the root system of the plants. Uh, it's not frou-frou or, you know... Uh, new age sort of a weirdness which i have no connection to that whatsoever here it is it only needs to be about a, a foot above uh, the ground now where you actually see here on the connectors this is not actually a connector it's just to keep its shape this is industrial duct tape one of the wondrous things of the decades i've been using industrial duct tape uh, duct tape is that when it's out in uh, the uv light i.e uh, sunlight it actually uh, becomes stiffer, which is a good thing. But this is just uh, a peel one-third of a section of a 3M roll of industrial duct tape. This is one continuous piece. Now, this is a two-element Yagi. In the case of a two-element uh, Yagi, the director and the driver operate as one single unit. This, of course, is the reflector. The reflector only needs to be roughly 40% larger than the director slash driver. Um, this specifically is called a loop Yagi, and it's a two-element loop Yagi. I actually start out here, bend the wire. It doesn't have to be perfectly, super perfectly shaped. You can see some uh, asymmetry between the front element and the rear element in the case of uh, EMR and antenna theory. It doesn't have to be super, super perfect. Uh, the actual aluminum or copper acts as a guide for the EMR. But this is actually bent in a continuous piece. Now right up here to connect this to the right angle, I actually just stuck in a crook on the aluminum wire and then I applied the tape so that it would maintain its uh, geometric form. And uh, after I got that loop, I brought it down here and uh, bent up the uh, reflector loop and uh, brought it back again and back around to add some stiffness between the front element and the rear element. This has no wind profile at all. I mean, it's just a piece of uh, 10 gauge aluminum wire. Once again, the duct tape, the industrial duct tape specifically, only thing it does is it actually stiffens the form such that it keeps its form. It doesn't affect anything as far as the electroculture of the antenna. 
you, this, you'd actually bury this about, uh, I don't know, about nine or ten inches. It only needs to be about a, a hair over a foot above the ground. The one thing you want to do now, if this would be in the ground right now, for example, this, the reflector and the uh, director driver, and I say director driver since the two element Yagi is actually pointed out on the horizon. What you want to do after you plant it, this is really difficult, pay attention, is you take it about to four inches from the base of the reflector and point it up like that. Yeah. Point it up like that. That's really difficult so that when it's in the ground, something like this, it's, it can't be 90 degrees to the ground, i.e. not like this relative to the ground. You don't want it pointing up like this, dead up, at about a 45 degree rough, rough angle to the ground. On a case of a, uh, a, a rectangular uh, garden, um, you have each of these at uh, four corners and one in the middle. Uh, depends on the size of the garden, of course. Now, your first one, like I said, it'll take you about a half an hour, actually less. I haven't made one of these. Uh, oh, oh lordy. I'd actually made these uh, two element Yaggies and I'd actually wrapped the copper from the coaxial cable, cable to the uh, connector on uh, handheld that I even use these. You can make these, it's fun with antennas, believe it or not. It's very nerdy, but fun with antennas. You'd actually uh, uh, take the center conductor and uh, the copper shielding and bend it around and literally tape it to this and uh, the end of the uh, like five foot section of, uh, of RG58 coax cable would actually be attached on the top of your radio and what you do is you just take this antenna off and this lets you actually have, uh, you can find somebody. Even though it's super nerdy, um, ham radio operators uh, would uh, have little games where they try to find people. They give you a piece of uh, a piece of either copper or aluminum coil like this, not steel, never steel, and you bend yourself up a Yagi antenna, and this actually acts like a direction. You know when they tag bears and endangered leopards and stuff out in the wild, they have a little radio transmitter, it goes beep, beep, beep at a certain frequency. They're nothing more uh, complex than a uh, UHF, VHF Yagi antenna, and you do this number, and you actually get a stronger signal, and it has directionality. That's the nature of a Yagi antenna, so you're able to find, say, the, uh, the tagged bear or whatnot. But anyway, when you actually plant this in the ground, bend it up at roughly a 45 degree angle, it can't be 90 degrees perpendicular to the ground like this would be, or not straight up like this, but just bend it roughly at about 45, uh, bury this uh, with the ground right about here, uh, you know, about five, five inches up. It has no profile against the wind. If you want to put some rocks at the base to keep it up, that's actually not going to interfere with anything. But all of this is just one single continuous piece, and this is a two-element loop Yagi. The only thing you need to remember is uh, not to use steel, copper, or aluminum only. Aluminum is perfectly fine. It's, uh, copper is no better on electroculture than is aluminum. All electroculture is is uh, you're uh, directing the energy for osmotic uptake and helping the root system and the growth of uh, your plants uh, to the root system and to the plants. And copper is no better at that than aluminum. It doesn't cost a whole lot more if you're only making like four Yagi antennas. I mean, this is a $10 roll, so nothing expensive, obviously. Your second one you should be able to make in about 20 minutes or less. Anyway, you just bend one single piece. This is the uh, director driver. Uh, bend your uh, aluminum uh, 90 degrees right here. Back here needs to be about 40% larger. Now, this front element is 15 inches, and this rear is 28 uh, inches, i.e. the director driver is 15, and uh, the reflector is uh, 28 inches wide. It does need to be at least the rear element, i.e. The, uh, the reflector element, needs to be at least 40% larger than the director driver, okay? Bend yourself a coil at the base. It doesn't have to be exactly shaped like this, just like a flat coil. It'd actually be better because it actually would have greater surface area against uh, tipping one way or the other. You'd easily just put some rocks at it and uh, bury it about five or six inches at the corner of your, uh, of your little garden, and this is it. No soldering required, nothing other than a pair of uh, needle nose pliers with some wire clippers that's on the back end of the uh, needle nose pliers. So, um, A spiral, by the way, as I've said before, is nothing other than an elaborate, overtly elaborate, 
Yagi antenna. You have a reflector driver and a, uh, a director. But uh, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I don't know how to solder and uh, I don't know about Yagi antenna. As long as the reflector element is roughly 40% larger than the front element, you'll be fine. Um, this is no different than a TENS uh, unit that's uh, pulsing to your muscles, kind of like Bruce Lee. Actually used uh, TENS units as a crude analogy. He'd actually put them on his muscles and he'd sit there and watch TV and, you know, it'd pump his muscles like a, I don't know, a gazillion times and within about 20 minutes or so. Um, the same principle, actually, is actual palpable uh, logic and science behind electroculture, as just as there is with a TENS unit for, uh, like, what's-his-face that was in a uh, snowmobile accident, Jeremy Renner. He got, like, 18 bones crushed, and he basically hadn't moved for, like, over a month without actually moving, which would have been really painful and whatnot because he had, like, 34 broken bones. He just put TENS units on his muscles, so you could exercise your muscles without actually moving. Now, this is a really crude analogy of what electroculture is, but electroculture is not new-age, frou-frou, you know, puffery, fluffery, uh, wackadoodleness. It's not. Uh, also, too, helps with fertilizer uptake, and people have reported, endless people actually have, about 30% reduction in necessary uh, um, uh, fertilizer use, such they're able to uh, stimulate the plant uh, uh, growth system just like a TENS unit. That's the best, even though a crude analogy that I could come up with on electroculture. Um, but simple antenna design, you don't have to buy the really expensive stuff. I'm not selling anything. I say you can $10. $10 and one hour of your time. The wire, uh, needle nose pliers, and uh, some uh, industrial strength actually. Uh, they call it uh, tough uh, duct tape. It's ultra tough duct tape by 3M. It's called black duct tape too. Um, it's really tough stuff. It's also more expensive, but I love using tough, uh, tough duct tape. I use it for all sorts of stuff. But uh, this is the principle behind electroculture. I hope you uh, were able to understand this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm glad I was able to provide information on making a super simple Yagi antenna that doesn't require a lot of time, doesn't require any money, and it definitely does not require soldering. It's just one single continuous piece of wire. Yeah, basically we could say antenna origami, or wire origami. I've never heard of wire origami, but it's not that difficult. Yeah, I made it as simple as possible so you don't have to buy a bunch of crazy fluffery or expensive fluffery to do uh, electroculture. I hope you like this video. If you're going to contact me, my information is in the description below. Have a lovely week and goodbye. This has been a really busy day, by the way. Today has been so busy. You just have days like that where you just, everything, <laughs> There's a lot of those lately for me anyway. I'll edit that out of this video. Thank you so much. Goodbye.